Uh, hello everyone, this is the Weller from the North and I'm finally back after a long absence from YouTube for several reasons. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna talk about a tournament I was to uh, pretty recently, uh, the Necronomic Quest. Um, yeah, the rules 2500 points, Swedish comp 13 to 19. Uh, soft count as hell in my opinion but yeah that's really interesting uh brings really makes you have to take some of the very much unused units in your armies and uh, every match has uh, their own scenario cards which you then trade with your opponents uh to get uh, yeah it, it was like 400 victory points per objective more or less Every board also had their own special terrain. Um, it could be anything, really, uh, from uh, stuff in the book to stuff the organizers made up themselves. Uh, but it, it was mostly nice stuff. Uh, it was around 60 people. Um, I do not know the criteria for grand tournament, but uh, yeah, 60 ish people, five games over two days. Oh, let's see, it's a GT. <laughs> In my mind, it is at least. So, over to my army. Yeah, my general, the King of Blades, um, Dragon Lord. Uh, I have used, I had used this character before, um, on the last tournament before this, in this uh, spring. And um, yeah, it's a Wood Elf Lord on a dragon, uh, so with other words, he sucks. He sucks more than any other dragon character in the game, I would almost say. Um, mostly because he dies. Too, too easy. Uh, this is the setup I went for. Uh, only because he dies, so I was like, yeah, I'll go with the defensive stuff. Try to make him be able to stay alive a bit more. Uh, give him a spear, so he still has strength 5 on the charge. Etc. Etc. Blah blah blah. He's he's just only there to bring a dragon into close combat. <laughs> and that's what he's there for. So um, yeah, we'll see how that works out. Uh, heroes, my only s magician, my spell singer, level two shadow with scepter of stability. I didn't have the points to actually give her the spell scroll. <laughs> so yeah, magic is probably going to be an issue. And then, of course, the other hero choice, Sister of Twilight on the Forest Dragon. Now, that's some fucking awesome stuff. Dual Dragons, I mean, Rule of Cool applies always. I don't care if I lose every game, I feel it two dragons in a tournament <laughs> with Wood Elves. And to add, uh, what should I say, insult to injury? No, I don't know. Uh, but this is the core, and as you can see, I don't have a single Glade Guard, which every opponent in the tournament actually pointed out and I was like yeah I know I have a wood elf army without dead guards um, uh, mostly because I've everyone has glade guards I've always played glade guards so it's time to try something else <laughs> so I have 30 tunnel guards and 10 glade riders with both with full command glade riders with hagman tips stand of discipline on tunnel guard it's just yeah with two dragons they can uh, kill, probably kill most of stuff in the game. If, you, if we talk about Dragon File, yeah, Eternal Guards, whatever, you can throw them on whatever. It's the best anvil in the game. They are Egypt 9 base. They're Egypt 10 now with some discipline and they're stubborn. My only regret is I would like them to be 40 or 50 instead of 30, but yeah, it's still 30 bodies you need to kill before they break, more or less. So yeah, I really love that unit. Clade Riders, in case I meet some uh, cannons or stuff. I don't, I do not believe I'll meet too many cannons with the combo 13 to 19, but you never know. And if I do meet them, yeah, 10 Clade Riders is your answer. Special! Three Warlock Riders. Those are also there for the rule of cool, and uh, they are not as useless as people may believe. They're still Toughness 4, 3 wounds per model. The Hawks had a killing blow on, on, on charge, 
yeah, for 145 points with the champion, I can really see them work. <laughs> Besides that they're really good War Machine Hunters. Uh, yeah, I'll, I haven't tried them too much in games, but we'll see how they do. After that, Wild Riders, of course, you need the Wild Riders. Too bad I don't have two units of them. But yeah, six six of them, full, full command, with shields and the banner of swiftness. Movement 10, Wild Riders, with 4 plus save. It's just awesome. And more than that, seven war dancers, mostly because I love war dancers. They s I wouldn't say they suck, but that's that they have strength three is a is a big issue for me. <laughs> they should have kept the strength four on the charge from the last book, in my opinion. They're still good, but not that good anymore. But yeah, they can still they still have so many rules that uh, they can actually do some stuff. They, they are toolbox, you can use them for different different things. And, and I have a champion upgrade. Mostly, that that's more if I have. If This is one of the alternatives I have to put my wizard in. And if I put it there, they can challenge my wizard and killer, etc, etc. That's why I took Blade Singer. And for rare, yeah, you can't go to a tournament without the Wave Watchers. Now there's nine of them, that's just because of the comp. They come a lot less with nine. Uh, so, yeah, hopefully they will be able to take out some <laughs> some high um, armor save unit. Uh, I mean, if you meet Empire and they have like ten knights, then those knights are gonna die only from the way watchers uh, Britannia they can probably yeah if it, like questing knights grail knights so you name it they're gonna die and uh, yeah you just need way watchers they're an awesome unit take them every game <laughs> uh, other than that I don't had I can only afford one great deal instead of two but the one is better it's better to have one than zero right the universal redirector slash war machine hunter slash awesome sauce unit <laughs> take one so yeah total 2498 points and um, ended up on 17.4 comp which is yeah it's pretty high i i was really satisfied about it with the comp result uh I first when I started making a list I ended up on like 12.8 or 13.2 or stuff like that and people that play Woodles know that we need a high comp. <laughs> it's really hard to really floor or really dominate the other army. Yeah, sure you can win but you will. it's not often that you will win with like 20 zero in battle points and stuff like that so the comp really helps. Ah uh, yeah, more in-depth look to my army now. Sorry for these really bad pictures. Uh, I will probably make a outro with better pictures of the tournament if you want to see the army cl up closer. But yeah, this is the whole army with the display board going through every unit. The war dancers with uh, the spell weaver, the old wild rider models. Uh, Mostly because I had them, and the new ones do look a crap load better than the old ones, but I had a, a lot of old ones, so yeah, fuck it. <laughs> I'll use the old ones. I, I hate to paint cavalry models, and when I have 15-ish up already painted, I won't paint up 15 others just to make them match, so fuck that. <laughs> and there's my lord, King of Blades. The Eternal Guards, 30 of them. And the Sisters of Twilight on the Dra Forest Dragon, awesome unit. Unit, awesome heroes. Uh, Warlock Riders, yeah, here's where my <laughs> new Wild Rider kit goes. Um, yeah, satisfied with the conversions there, I must say. I, lo I love the Wild Rider models, they're just awesome. Um, the Great Eagle, and Hidden in the Forest, the Waywatchers. I almost forgot them. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> so a few games, I uh, didn't even think about them that they were inside the forest until like the last second. Of, wait, 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 I have my scouts, whatever. And the ambushers, the glade riders. Now these are one, this is one unit, I just have separate movement trays for them. Yeah, my thoughts about my army. Um, yeah, it's not your conventional wooded army with a crap of great glade guards and some spell weavering around with sisters. Uh, I just wanted to try something new and see how it works. Uh, dragons are not that good, but they're cool, so rule of cool applies. Um, going to this tournament to not not to win matches. I just want to have fun. I'm I'm. Aiming for best painted more than best general, mostly because I have no chance reaching best general, and somehow I did one win best painted army last tournament. So yeah, why not try to do that again? Yeah, which means with painting. Uh, yeah, best painted army. I don't know. Maybe we will see. Strategies. Pretty straightforward, kill their wizard as fast as possible since I don't have a level 2 without a dispel scroll. Uh, I do have a really highly mobile army with uh, flying and wild riders and everything. So just I'm just gonna use the eternal guard as the anvil against anything. They'll just run in there, hold up for as long as I need them to and then I'll just flank charge with everything and just beat stuff up so yeah I think that's the core of my strategy still it will of course change depending on what armies I meet and stuff like that but you'll see that in the battle reports and the tournament yeah it's this third time they have this uh, tournament uh, it's the third tournament I've been to I've been to these TNQ tournaments and uh, yeah, they're they're really really nice with a lot of a, a lot of variety of people. Uh, we have like top players in Sweden with in the, which plays in the C teams, and uh, then more people like us in our gaming group to just go there to have fun. And then we have really good painters, and uh, yeah, I, mostly I've never played a boring match. Always all of the opponents have been really nice and uh, good sports and. Uh, yeah, looking forward to a tournament. Tournament. Um, so yeah, that's it. I'll be up shortly with the, the battle report. So stay tuned for that.